Gate set in a teaser. You know who it is. <clears throat> one man bad, but one man reacts. I got some MMA stuff to do. Like I said, I don't do all just music. Y'all know this by now. Sometimes I do like a movie review. That's every now and then. A movie trailer. I might talk about some basketball stuff. I might talk about some vaccine stuff. Boxing stuff. Like I showed the little kids boxing and shit. <clears throat> this is about Kobe Covington, MMA fighter from the UFC, and Jorge Masvidal. I guess Jorge ambushed him and shit. It's on camera, I guess. And Kobe already told him it's not like I'm like telling on him or nothing. I won't even do nothing like that. And I guess it happened in Miami. I'm gonna play this whole video if you haven't seen it or heard about it. I'm going to just get right into it real quick, and then I'm going to talk about it. Let's go. Local MMA fighter now under criminal investigation after cops say he was caught on camera attacking another MMA star at a Miami Beach hotspot. And we're now hearing exclusively from a witness to that dust-up. <clears throat> Local tenants Rosh Lowe is live with a video now gone viral. Rosh. We also just got video exclusively to Local 10, which could be very important in this case. And let me explain why. You'll see it in a moment. It is grainy video, but at issue here is, was Colby Covington ambushed? When this story first happened, people may have said, what was this? Was it a publicity stunt? I can tell you, we have spoken to Miami Beach police, and they are taking this very seriously. That is UFC superstar Colby Covington nursing a broken tooth outside of Poppy Steak on South Beach, according to eyewitnesses. Broken okay, tooth. Adam Weiss tells us what he saw. One guy clocked him about three or four times in the face. Mm. Amazing that what, what stood out right away was how he didn't even go down. In this exclusive video from Poppy Steak, just into Local 10, this witness says you can see Covington leave the restaurant mm. when he is ambushed. I think he was hit by Jorge and then looked like there were five of his buddies around him. You just tell him watch again. This video shows the aftermath. <clears throat> Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington but this time it wasn't in the ring. According to a Miami Beach police report, the victim said he was leaving the steakhouse when he was attacked by Masvidal, who he says punched him with a closed fist twice in the face, fracturing a tooth. Masvidal took to social media and posted the following. Calling this uh, show your face challenge, you know, um, what's up, I'm from Day County. You talk to you gotta back it up. That's how my city rolls, man. <laughs> they were once friends and now enemies. Covington out wrestled Masvidal earlier this month. Miami Beach police saying the case is under criminal investigation. The victim told cops Masvidal was wearing, quote, a hoodie raised over his head and sweatpants. He stated that he was able to identify Mr. Masvidal by the sound of his voice and by looking at the upper half of Mr. Masvidal's face to include his long curly hair sticking out of the hoodie. So what's next? Police say they are actively investigating the case and reviewing surveillance footage. So I reached out to Jorge and Colby multiple times today. So far, no comment. We did see some reports out there that Masvidal <laughs> was upset because Covington said uh, certain things about his kids. What will be very important now is Colby Covington. What will he do next? <clears throat> A lot will depend if there'll be prosecution in this case if Colby wants to press charges. We're live on Miami Beach tonight. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. Interesting. I bet Colby pressed charges. And I know some of y'all think I would too. Do your thing. I'm not saying what's right or wrong. I'm just saying I just bet Colby pressed charges. And I know y'all probably thinking, oh, you're a Colby hater. I don't have a dog in the race. I don't have a dog in the fight. Um... What y'all don't know about me is I'm a big, big, big MMA fan. Some people are just UFC fans. And some people are like casual UFC fans. Like every now and then, if Conor McGregor fight, they'll watch it. If Ronda Rousey was fighting, they'll probably watch it. Me, I, I don't miss UFC events. Especially the ones with the numbers. Like UFC 255 or whatever UFC 256, whatever it's going to be. I don't miss those. I rarely miss those. And what's crazy is when 
uh, Covington and Jorge went against each other like three weeks ago, something like that. Maybe two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. I kind of missed it. And what I mean by that is I was at a party. At my people's crib, we were just partying. It was, it was like a get together, but we always party together. And I was, I was, I kept going on my phone watching because that's really the only fight I wanted to see that night. But I was watching like other fights like before that. And I was like, man, if I cut this phone off, I'm going to end up missing this fight. Right? Because you know how some fights take longer to get to, like if a fight in early and whatever. So, and I, and I was drinking my wine, so I knew I was going to forget. So then I remembered, we turned on the fight, me and my girl was watching it, and it was on the third round of Covington versus um, Masvidal. And it was like a lot of wrestling and shit. And I only really think, I, I still got to go back and watch the fight. The only thing I seen Masvidal really do of significance was he, he, he dropped Kobe like to his knee with like a hook. I don't know, left or right, can't remember. That was the last time, only once and only time I seen. <clears throat> but Kobe dominated him for the most part. And they talked so much shit. My girl wanted to see it because I watch all the build up. I watch everything, the press conferences. I watch everything to the point that she said she got to see it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Covington got the victory. Which I don't know is I do Muay Thai kickboxing too. I've been doing it for like three years. I've been like a boxer, not an official boxer, but like a boxer. I've been training my sons and shit. I got a son that box. This shirt actually, Crew Bruce Muay Thai. It's my kickboxing shirt. I didn't wear this to do this because I wasn't even going to do this video. I wore it to wear it. And I usually wear a gate set shirt or a gate set hoodie. But this is my Muay Thai. I was supporting him. My Muay Thai. Um, I've been in a, countless street fights. I can't even name them all how many fights I've been in. Almost every one of my dudes been in countless. And like I always tell people, I didn't, I don't ever start anything. But I'm not going to let, let you mess with anybody I'm with. You definitely ain't going to. I'll let you mess with me before I let you mess with anybody I'm with. Because I feel like I, I got to protect whoever I'm with. I always been that way. So like if you go out your way and you bump them, I feel like you did it because of, you don't like me. I don't care if you don't even know me. I feel like you don't. Anyways, I feel like Covington is going to sue him. Even if it's just to fuck with him, he's going to do it. And a lot of people saying he should have kept it in the ring. A lot of other people saying oh, Covington shouldn't have talked about his kids, his wife, his religion and all this and that. So it's, it's a lot going on, so I'm going to watch it play out. You know, I'm a fan of this stuff. When I heard about it, I was like, man, Jorge is cra crazy. And some people are crazy. That's why he do MMA. You got to be crazy to do that, right? You got to be crazy to box. You got to be crazy to do MMA. You got to be crazy to play football. Shit like that. You know what I mean? You got to be crazy to snowboard. <clears throat> so it's just... Funny. I wonder how many street fights happen in MMA that we don't know about. And don't tell me one. Gate set in a teaser.